This is Ramon for RedZone.ca and I am now filming the very first episode of our new series called Curio where we take a look at hardware, software, uh, basically a first-hand experience on anything we find in the field. So um, without further ado, let's get started with our first um, lovely list of items right here. It's called the Half-Life Adrenaline Pack. Now, um, to um, basically 10-year-old me, and I thought, well, Half-Life was the biggest game of my childhood. Um, I played through it multiple times. It's basically a classic. Uh, I'm pretty sure many people agree that it is a classic. Um, uh, just to note, um, I did get to that one part um, through uh, Half-Life where you kind of get off the elevator at uh, that big shaft after the um, Residence Cascade and um, that's where you find the first zombie and your first security guard. Um, I actually got a bit scared there <laughs> and, and, and I've actually short swore up the game for about two weeks after that and uh, you know it's, it's not my proudest moment uh, with the game so um, that's a thing but uh, you know enough about me and uh, my um, 10 year old basically chickening out in the game let's take a look at uh, what we have here in this um, in the set now um, I've gone through my local thrift store in acquiring these um, I've about paid about five bucks for each game so about 15 bucks which I thought was a good deal because you know with, with the amount of games that I'm seeing in my local thrift stores um, you don't really get something as much as this. Well, I may have gotten lucky and I've gotten the StarCraft battle chest or the Diablo battle chest. Um, I'll probably put that on video some other time. But we're here to talk about this set. Um, with Half-Life after its um, 1998 um, release, and with the expansions being a thing as well, with you know, Opposing Force and Blue Shift and you know, Layer Decay, they, they started doing big box compilations like this. Um, uh, this is one of them. This is uh, the Adrenaline Pack, which comes originally in a big box. So these are just the games. It doesn't come with the manuals or any of those registration cards or any, any of that kind of business. So this is the only one I have, and I thought it was still a good deal. Now, a good reason as to why I have these, even though, you know, you can just boot up Steam and uh, look at Half-Life and, you know, purchase it right there and play it on your modern PC. Um, there's uh, about a few reasons why I wanted to get the original releases. Uh, one of them is basically um, the EAX support, which, you know, uh, as much as I love Half-Life with you know, the original soundscapes and everything, um, they're fine. But that EAX support has always been something of a curiosity, and I've actually wanted to get the original releases and actually play it that way. Uh, moving on to my second point, um, I do have a Windows 98 rig that I want to actually play these games on, so I want them to be a bit um, era-appropriate. So that's uh, one of the things that um, why I wanted this whole set to be, you know, in my collection. So uh, I'll show that later in the video. Uh, without further ado, let's actually um, let's check this out right here. So here's um, Half Life, Half Life um, Game of the Year edition. So with all the patches and uh, whatever bug fixes they made. So you open this up, you can actually see here's the. Um, 
an original Half-Life disc, um, you know, looking all rusty, looking cool and all that. Um, what do we have here? Um, it says that's installed, you know, it says install the game. You know, no, no big deal. It's, it's standard install stuff. Hmm, I wonder if that number still works. So, at the back, I see ground control. Not familiar with that game, but um, you know, this is like under Sierra's um, publishing brand right before ha Valve decided to make Steam, so they're all buddy buddy with Sierra at this time. And here's a uh, Opposing Force. This opens up. So here's the, um, the actual disc. Again, just color green, same thing, same as install instructions. And here's Team Fortress Classic. Now, um, if you're a big fan of something like, if you started with something like Team Fortress 2, then, you know, this might be like, well, that looks interesting. Um, I've never played Team Fortress Classic before. Um, I have a little bit, but um, I believe I was playing with something like, you know, custom-made bots. So that was interesting, but um, let's open this up. Let's open this up. Uh, here we are. Team Fortress Classic. Um, interestingly enough, it's uh, a blue shade, but the same blue shift. So um, yeah, that's another little omission here, where a blue shift is not part of this bundle. Um, there was a layer bundle that um, that had Counter Strike 1.6. Uh, blue shift was a uh, standalone expansion pack. Um, I've actually um, gone through eBay and found a good copy for a good price, and um, I do have it here. I'm gonna probably open this up um, on camera just to see what it looks like um, in a dual case form so I can actually complete um, the Half-Life set, um, you know, bar decay, but because that's the PlayStation 2 version. So um, as you can see, um, with these, um, especially with um, Team Fortress Classic, yeah, you, you actually don't see something like a CD key. Now the reason for this is that Team Fortress Classic is multiplayer only and well, it doesn't really need a CD key because it's it's a mod. Yeah, you don't need a CD key for that. So um, in a moment, I'm actually gonna grab my um, my package for Blue Shift and I'm gonna open up open it up on camera and uh, see if there's anything interesting in there. So um, one moment, please. All right. So I got through to my mail and uh, there's the package. So. You know, unassuming thing. Um, paid a good uh, chunk of change for this, and you know, uh, as good of a price as you're ever gonna get for a good condition one. So uh, let's open this up on camera and uh, see what we find. Okay, it's a nicely bubble wrapped and everything. So you know, oh, nice tape. So. Mm. A bit of an interesting thing right there. So here we go. Let's uh, actually see what's inside. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Folks, this is Half-Life Blue Shift. Again, made by Gearbox. That's about the opposing force. So here's the actual game right here. Um, Barney Calhoun looking all cool and stuff. Uh, he never did give that beer to Gordon Freeman, so I'm um, probably gonna ask him about that. So here we go. Um, as you can see, there's actually um, there's actually the big box um, big box collections at the back. Um, Half Life Game of the Year edition and um, Half Life Counter Strike. Uh, let's take a look at the disc and uh, see what we find here. Oh cool, it's um, actually a nice looking disc, but not as uh, rusty as I thought it would be for Team Fortress Classic, so that's a thing. Let's see, a right, good, good colored disc. So there we go, rated M for Mature. So that's half my blue shift, so let's introduce it to this. This and this. So we got the family right here, and um, uh, I guess the only thing to do now is to actually install this on my Windows 98 rig and uh, see what we get. Cause uh, 
We're going to be late for work, eh, Korean Freeman? You know you do. All right, so I got the Windows 98 rig all booted up and ready for some Half-Life action. So um, let's let's log in right here. That is a classic, and it should be respected. But here we are. So this is my Windows 98 rig. It's um. I would call middle of the road specs. Um, it's got an AMD Duron at um, 800 megahertz. Then I have outfitted it with a GeForce 6200. And as you can see right there, there's an RG2, which will support um, EAX, which I'm hoping this game does. Um, I'm hoping the, um, the version of Half-Life here will be the one that has EAX support, so we'll try that. So um, here we go. Let's um, actually install uh, one of the games here. Right, let's start with, uh, well, this is not what we want, we want Half-Life. Put that in the tray. Alright, let's wait for it to load. Ah, uh, here we go! Ah, uh, this, this... They call it the one menu, and um, I would like to agree that it is called the one menu. I haven't seen this in... Oh, I don't know, like... I'm guessing years now, at least, um... What, 10 years? This, this is quite a nostalgia trip, so let's actually install Half-Life here. Hmm, Sierra logo. Oh, that's a classic sound right there. Absolutely, we heard that loud and clear. So let's just get to installing um, right here. So uh, mm, we don't want that. Let's go with regular um, program files. Um, let's, let's put. Why well, not? Let's put uh, Sierra. Then let's put half life. Yes, we want it to exist. And there we go. We are installing half life. All right, we've actually installed half life correctly here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Up to date. Oh, I don't want to register. Ready for that. Nah, we don't need registration because uh, honestly, who cares? Uh, I'm not gonna launch Half Life now. We must finish installing um, the rest of the games. So um, I'm gonna take out the Half Life disc and let's start with um, Opposing Force. Here, right here. And there we go. I sh probably should have put that in the second drive, but uh, oh well. It's gonna install anyway, so it's good. It's all good. And there we go. Well, it's not as fancy as um, um you know the Half-Life installer. Um, it's a bit more basic. It looks pretty cool though. So let's just get into installing this this wonderful expansion pack. Ooh, says it's my Half-Life installation is out of date. Let's just let it update. Like you're smart, you can do it. Let's go. Mm, that that drive. It's probably because it's quite old at this point. And remember, opposing force is not exactly standalone. It requires Half Life to work. Um, only Blue Shift had the idea that you can actually just buy blue shift and it will work on its own it's a standalone expansion 
And uh, here we go. It's I'm searching. I don't want to. Uh, okay, I do. And here we go. Let us install opposing force. So what do we have here? Uh, ATT Rollnet. Not that. Uh, one swap. I, I don't want that. And here we go. We are installing once again. So uh, I will see you in a bit. Alright, we got the install pretty much wrapped up. Uh, it's doing the same registration process. Ooh, it wants me to um, enter the um, opposing force key. So we'll go ahead and actually do that. Uh, it's strange that um, Half-Life did not actually ask for this. So uh, hold up, we, we will be right back. Alright, let's get to installing the Forces Classic. Interesting, it seems to have allowed us to actually install. This is weird. Interesting. Oh, so it seems that um, it's, it would appear that if you have opposing force like I have here, it seems to have installed Team Fortress Classic and we don't need to actually install this. So um, I will actually exit. We don't actually need that. So. Um, I guess that's not going to happen. Uh, ooh, illegal operation. Uh, oh, whoops. So let's actually um, remove this um, Team Fortress Classic disc and uh, install Blue Shift because I have no idea if that thing even works or what. All right, let's install good old Barney in here. Blue Shift Auto Run. Hmm. Well, this looks a bit more professional than, you know, the opposing force um, install screen, so... Like, mmm, Half-Life ha High Definition Pack. Uh, I, I don't, I don't have two minds about the High Definition Pack. Um, I think it's a good update, uh, maybe at the time, but now... I don't... I really want the 9098 um, assets in there, so... This is all blue shift and... Blue. I have no idea. Oh, never mind. Let's just install. Uh, but the, I don't know what that illegal operation that was all about. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Blue Shift is like a smaller fault, um, file size than, you know, like Opposing Force or Half Life. So this should install pretty quickly. So we'll be back in a moment. All right, we have finished installing Blue Shift. And um, it's like it's asking for DirectX 7. And uh, well, I don't want to register, so hit finish. All right, it seems that all games are basically operational. Um, so let's actually just you know open up a uh, Half Life here. Um, you do need the uh, the game in the drive because you know this check and oh, there we go. Gotta love that Sierra logo. Let's see. And there we go, the infamous, the infamous Valve intro. And they've used this until what? Half Life 2? And there we go. Uh, you haven't seen this one menu in forever. Uh, I do remember playing Half Life and I see this menu and I thought it was like the coolest thing. And one of the neat things about this is that, you know, we could actually go and uh, activate. All the different games here. Because I thought that was pretty cool rather than you know actually like exiting the game and then actually opening up the shortcut and go through all the intros. I thought that was like quite a pain. Oh okay that's a bit of a corruption right there. Um, let's, let, let, let's just uh, restart the game. Um, let's see I want to I want to see if the um, the the EAX that uh, this game supposedly has is uh, operational to us. Uh, let's see. There we go. Put EAX on the video modes. Let's see what we have. Um, ooh, that's that's not supposed to happen. Okay, let's look at Direct 3D. It should be fine. Um, 
Let's just go at um, leisurely 800 by 600. Okay, so let's just boot up the intro. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Alright, quick update. It seems that EAX is not willing to cooperate with me this time around. I'm not sure. Um, the RDG2 in here, um, uh, especially with some something called uh, the DOS support, which there's a bit of a trick there in order to make it work with some DOS games. Uh, I'm not sure if that's conflicting with the um, the EAX support. So um, looks like we're gonna have to go without that. But uh, as you can see, it's actually loading just fine it's just without you know i expected the chorus and reverb effects from eax but well looks like we'll have to go without it for now so that's a problem for another day but the important part is it works right here uh 1024 by 768 in direct 3d as you can see works absolutely fine so uh, let's just get into um a little bit here Sorry, sir. I've got to stay in my boat. Gotta love those Half-Life sound effects. So let's just get into the main, into the main lobby of sorts. Uh, Anomalous Materials Classic. As you can see, it does not have the reverb, it does not have... Yes, I know about the stupid ties, but as you can see, there's no EEX working, so that's again another problem I gotta fix sometime. But looks like I'm gonna have to leave it here. But um, I'm happy that you know these um, these games is all just fine on my Windows 98 rig over here. So looks like we'll have to call it um, uh, a wrap for um, the first Curio episode. So uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to RedZone.ca, and um, we'll see you next time. Game on. Have a very safe day.